Rich Morris here from The Singing Drummer. And uh, so I did a thing. What do I do? I buy stuff. Um, because there's stuff that I think that I need to do. And I think that I need to get some different stuff to help me do it. <clears throat> and so we're going to be tracking some drums in here. And I'm not quite so happy with my overhead setup. Uh, I love the mics but they're still capturing a little bit too much of the room. And so I thought I'd try some ribbon mics. And a buddy of mine from uh, Silent Sky, Blue Sky Studio, I'll put a link in the description. Um, he told me about these, they were on sale. And so I thought that I would give him a try. Um, he has one and he liked it so much as soon as it came on sale, he bought another one. So now he's got a set. And I went ahead and got a set. So, some of you who maybe saw that coming out of the package, I got two of them, so I'm going to get this out of the way. Some of you that maybe saw this coming out of the package, you may kind of know by the name, or at least the insignia. That's right. It's a stage right. I know. That They can't make anything good. Well, you know what? You, you do get what you pay for. Um, I have been told that this is not crap. Um, it's not going to be what your $400,000, $800,000 ribbon mic is going to be. It has a thicker ribbon, so it has a uh, less dynamic range. Um, but we'll see what we get, right? Um, they're sold by Monoprice. Um, is that right? Mono. Yeah, Monoprice, which I've bought a bunch of light gear from them, and it's all, I would say, at least prosumer. It's not as cheap as some of the stuff that you get off of Amazon. Um, and, I mean, check it out here. So here's the box. If I can get the box open without tearing it up. In the, in the box, you get this nice, looks like a pretty nice, I mean, it's lightweight. But it's a pretty nice little case, right, for storage. Because you don't keep these things open all the time, right? You can't see that in there, right? So, I'm going to... Let's do it over here. I'm going to open up the box. <gasps> Big reveal. Na, na, na. I can't even see it! Let's take a look. Shall we? So, what do we got in the box? We got a really, really, really big windscreen. Probably never be used down here because, well, there's no wind. Um, got it, came with a shock mount right here. And here it is. Oh, that's, that's pretty heavy. Um, at least the case and the basket seem to be metal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised. This thing is a lot heavier than what I thought it was going to be. I won't be able to do a sound check right now, but I will be, um, during the week. So I'll, I may hold off on this and add to this in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it slides right down in there. Nice little, eh, I mean, not nice. It's sufficient isolation mount. Sufficient. I mean, it does pretty good. Um, yeah, kind of nice. Let's take a look here. Maybe I'll do it on this one. So, you can see there, that almost looks blurred to me. Let's go back up here. If you can see on there, you've got a low cut, right? It looks like it's just two positions. So it's either low cut or no cut. Low cut or no cut. And then it's got a 10 dB pad. So a low cut or no cut and a 10 dB pad for loud thing. I would just assume for, I'm thinking about uh, miking up some, some uh, guitar amps at the live John Henry thing uh, with these, um, seeing how they match up against my 609s. So, um, anyway, so there you go. Um, the link will be in the description. Uh, not sure that I get affiliate stuff with Monoprice, but that's fine. 
Um, yeah, look at that big, humongous windscreen. That would be great if, if you had need for it, but it's a nice, super nice case. This will be well protected. If I wanted to go remote someplace and bring these with, um, yeah, I would bring this to a, actually I'm going to, I'll bring it to uh, the thirst probably and use it to help Mike stuff up. I would rather this get beat up than the microphone. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the link will be in the description. I'll do some uh, test recordings with it and I'll let you guys know. Um, I was planning on using them in here for overheads so, so that I wouldn't be hearing the room quite so much. And uh, we'll see how it works. It's the Monoprice L100 ribbon microphone with shock mount, with windscreen, with case. Um, and I gotta tell you, it was like 30 bucks, less than 40 bucks each. So if they make noise, I don't know that you can really go wrong. Um, again, not gonna sound as good as your 200, 400, $900 ribbon mics. I don't expect it to. I'll be pleasantly surprised if it's quiet and I don't hear the room. I mean, it can't be as bad as just a standard, well, it could be as bad as a standard dynamic mic, and if it is, maybe I'm out 40 bucks. So just for the record, I wanted to kind of show what I've got going on here. I wanted to test these SE7s um, with the isolation shields behind them. And they sound pretty good, but I'm still picking up too much of the room. The drum set has a mixture of D, that's a D550, and then uh, D... 440s, really, really old mics, but they still work pretty well. But in a second, we're going to try the ribbon mics uh, that we got for Monoprice. So let's give this a shot. Okay, sloppy playing and all, but let's go ahead and see if we can put those ribbon mics up on the boom stands and see what happens there. Monoprice Stage Right LR100s, uh, they come, what was it, uh, 40 bucks, 39 bucks, something like that. Um, I, and I'll post it, I can't remember, it's been a couple days. I've slept at least once since then. Uh, they come with a case, they come with a big thick windscreen, they come with ISO mounts, they, uh, they are phantom power, I found that out, um, which that's fine. Um, but they really don't have the, uh, crispness and the dimension, really the low or the high end um, that the SE7s do. The SE7s just kill them. Um, they do have a low cut and a no cut, and I believe they do have a 10 dB pad. And that recording that uh, should be on the video there, that was no cut and no pad. That was just the mic wide open. Uh, no EQ, no compression, just raw signal right out of the right out of the mic. Uh, try to be honest with you guys, um, but really for your money, the SE7s are just pretty killer. Um, probably should have got some of those XA1s instead. Uh, oh well, live and learn. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. And if you wouldn't mind hit the subscribe button. Uh, we've been creeping up almost to 200. Really wish we could pass that little goal. Um, and it's not like I put out a ton of videos all the time, 
So go ahead and hit that uh, notification bell and you'll be notified on the rare occurrence that I actually put down a video. And uh, if there's an affiliate link in the description, go ahead and click it. It doesn't cost you anything. The price didn't go up of anything that you click just because you clicked the link. Um, but it really helps us make the transition between a hobby and a business. I am trying to run a little bit of a business here between my studio, my live music, my videos, doing stuff like this. Nobody's getting rich here, but hey, everybody's got to pay bills, right? All right. Thanks. We'll see you guys soon.